Chris Ham from HHA Sports here to talk about our Optimizer Speed Dial Crossbow Unit. It's a product that we developed about four years ago. Uh, main focus behind it is to eliminate multiple reticles off of your crossbow scope. Most guys are used to shooting 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 yard scopes. Problem with that is you don't get pinpoint accuracy to the yard. This eliminates all the multiple reticles. Hawk Optics has developed a scope for us. It features five brightness settings for green and red, whatever your preference may be. Uh, it's just going to give you a lot clearer sight picture as opposed to shooting those four, five, six dots. You've got one central aiming point now to focus on that game animal. It's just going to improve your accuracy. This patented tape technology, this RDS range dial shoot technology, was originated on our archery sites back uh, seven or eight years ago and then we then jumped it to the crossbow. This thing will fit on any standard Picatinny rail so it's going to be compatible with most of today's crossbows. It's a simple three bolt installation. Once you get it mounted to your crossbow your next step is going to be to remove your turret caps and you're going to sight it in at 20 yards with your zero setting on your setup tape. With the setup tape at zero and once you're dialed in at 20 yards then you march back to 60 yards. Whatever number you come up with there, in this case we were at X34, uh, you would grab tape X34, wrap it on your dial, you're now sighted in 20 to 80 yards in one yard increments. Main benefit to that again being there's no more holdover, no more guessing, no more gapping, no more grabbing the wrong cross here in the heat of the moment and shooting above or below that animal. So you're just dialing to the yard, point, aim and shoot. It's, it's, it's that simple. Now that I've explained a few of the features and benefits of the Optimizer speed dial as well as the setup process, let's take it to the range and see it in action. Chris Hammond, Jeremy Zeman here, getting ready to shoot our Matthews MXB360 mission crossbow with our optimizer speed dial on it. First thing we're going to do is sight in at 20 yards. We've got our speed dial set at zero and we've got our caps, uh, turret caps on our scope off. So Jeremy's going to take a shot here at 20 and try to get us dialed in. And here we go. Where are you at, Jeremy? Uh, about three inches right, three inches high. High and right, okay, so we're gonna make a couple adjustments to our turrets here and go grab that arrow and try to do this again. All right, Jeremy's made a couple adjustments on his elevation and his windage with his scope here and he's gonna take another crack at 20 and see where we're at. Well, our uh, RDS tape technology that we've got on this crossbow works at sighting in at 20, which we've already done, and then your next uh, calculation is going to be sighting in at 60 yards. Uh, we've done you a little favor to get you in the ballpark. We've got a chart here that gives the approximate feet per second of your bow and then where to go to on your uh, setup tape for your 60 yard setting. Uh, this being a 360 foot per second bow, we're going to be somewhere in the 34 range, 31 to 34. So. We're going to dial that, uh, that speed dial to 31 and take a poke at 60 yards and see where we're at. All right, we've got, uh, got our turret caps replaced on our scope. We've got our speed dial rolled to 31, and Jeremy's going to try to stick this arrow into this uh, Glendale buck out at 60 yards and see what happens. All right, we're going to make an adjustment on this thing, take it from 31 up to somewhere around 33 or 34, thinking that should bring us up uh, into the bullseye at 60. So we're going to take another crack at it here. We're going to call that good. And after uh, successfully sighting in at 20 and 60 yards with our speed dial, we've come up with the number 34 tape. So we're going to go grab tape X34. We've got our speed dial locked at 34. And what we're going to do here is put the 60 under the needle, wrap it around the dial. And then once that is complete, we supply three little clear mylar tapes that are going to connect the two ends of those tapes so that it doesn't come off. And we're now dialed in from 20 to 80 yards in one yard increments with our optimizer speed dial and our RDS technology. Okay, we're dialed in from 20 to 80 with our uh, Mission 360. We're gonna have a little fun on the 3D range here. We've got a raccoon. Rangefinder says he's at 29 yards, so we're gonna dial our speed dial to 29 and see if we can put him down. That's a 
a dead coon, 29 yards. That's the beauty of our system. You don't have to guess and gap with a five or six haired scope. You can just dial it right to the yard point and shoot. All right, we've got a badger target out here. Rangefinder says it's 37 yards, so we're gonna roll our speed dial to 37. Point and shoot. Right on the money. All right, shot three out here on the 3D range. We've got a uh, wild boar target that we've ranged at 45 yards. So we're gonna dial our speed dial to 45 yards and see if Jeremy can bring home the bacon. For more information on the optimizer speed dial, check us out at hhasports.com and don't forget to like us on Facebook.